Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota, coming to you from a very rainy Nashville right now. Um, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of information that uh, uh, with a, a friend of mine, Glenn, I found out today. So um, there's a lot of you guys that have the Remote Connect system. And the Remote Connect is um, where you can start and stop your car from uh, your phone. You can lock and unlock your car. Um, you can find out where you parked. Um, there's just a lot of things that you can do. One of the main questions I guess I get is what if it doesn't start my car? Why can't I start my car even though I'm signed up? I've got everything right. I've started it before, but right now it's not starting. What's the reason that I'm not able to start my car? And there's actually, there's several reasons that you might not be able to start your car. And the very last one I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna hold it to last just because it's probably the one that nobody knows about. But the very last one is one that not, not very many people know about, all right? So with Nashville in the background in here, just because it's so rainy and I don't really want to walk on the lot right now, um, I'm going to give you guys all of the information right here from Toyota, all right? So if it doesn't work, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your doors locked. Um, now, it looks like sometimes it'll work if you lock it from your remote connect. Um, sometimes it won't. So the official way that they say to lock the doors is to lock it from your key fob or from the smart sensor on your door. So you touch your door um, with the smart sensor and I'll, and I'll come out in the rain here just because um, I want to show you guys a couple things while I'm uh, just kind of doing this here. But um, so if you look on and you've done the, uh, the smart uh, I mean, I've done a video on your smart sensor on your door, all right? So if you touch your door and you do that um, that smart sensor on your door to lock and unlock, so you've got those two little lines. I'm going to show you here in just a second. Uh, but if you touch that, that'll work. And if you lock it from the key fob, that'll work. So now um, I do want to mention while I'm thinking about it here that not all vehicles with Toyota are remote connect capable all right so when you <coughs> excuse me when you sign up on the app and you go into the toyota app when it's uh it'll give you a list of everything that's capable on the car most of them have safety connect um some of them have um uh or i mean most of the safety connect service connect some of them have the remote connect all right so now depending on which one you have you may or may not have it. So even though some of them have it, they might not all. So what I'm gonna show you here, this is the where you can lock your car right here and you have a sensor back here that you can unlock it. All right, so if you don't have um, that, then obviously you'd wanna lock it with your um, key fob, of course, but realistically, I don't think there's any of them that have remote connect that I can think of off the top of my head that still have the key. Most of them have push button start. So um that's your other thing so now the next thing that you want to watch for to make sure that you can start your car using the remote connect system is you want to make sure that your hood and your trunk are both closed all right so if your hood's open or your trunk's open it will not allow you to remote start your car all right so uh, make sure that both of those are closed all right um you also have to make sure that, this is the third one, that your alarm has not been activated. So if your alarm, alarm's going off, somebody broke your uh, window or whatever, your alarm's gone off. If your alarm has gone off, the remote start will not be able to function, all right? So the other thing that you wanna make sure, uh, and this is just for safety purposes, don't leave a child inside your car while it's remote running and don't make, and, and make sure that you don't remote start it while you're in a garage. Those are both very, very bad things. Um, so you always want to make sure that uh, if you're going to remote start it, that it's safe to do so, of course. So um, now uh, the other part. So if you say you and your husband, wife, spouse, you know, brother, sister, whoever shares the car with you, if you guys share your car for any reason and you both want to use it now, when you use the remote connect now, when you use the remote connect system, you have to be under one email address per the car. So you can sign up per uh, Facebook, you can sign up through a Google account, 
um, there's there's ways that you can do it it's usually easy just to sign up with your email and your email address if you're going to share the account so um, definitely note that but if you have two phones that are both active to that car basically you're using the same account if one person's trying to do it the other person won't be able to so um, you want to make sure that there's not a active remote start process uh, that's going on um, the other thing this kind of sounds you know redundant but the car has to be parked guys <laughs> it, it can't be like going down the road and you lock the doors it, it can't be you know you know for the remote connect it has to be parked in park um, there has been some debate, which I haven't tested yet, on whether or not the parking brake needs to be engaged. Um, I don't believe it does. I believe just as long as it's in park, because um, and, and there's a lot of them that have automatic parking brakes, so that could come into play too. But um, I believe as long as it's in park, you'll be good. All right, so um, that's part of it. So the other part, your smart key cannot be inside the car and remote start. So if you have you know one person leaves their purse or, or one person just decides that in the cup holder they're going to leave the car car key you can't start the car with the key inside of it all right that's not going to let you do that so make sure you don't do that that's not safe anyway guys don't don't don't, don't do that all right all right so the last one and the one i've been saving the one you've been waiting for because i told you, you were going to wait for it right so the one that you've been waiting for nobody seems to know this and to be god's honest truth i didn't know this one till today but i figured it out so um if your car is less than a quarter tank full the remote start will not start so you could have every other one of those preconditions everything's good and obviously you've got plenty of fuel to run your car if you have a quarter of a tank a quarter of a tank but for safety reasons and so you don't run your car ultra low on gas at a quarter tank it will not let you run your car so if you want to use your remote start make sure that you've got over a quarter tank but that's the that's the one that i was saving for you guys so um that's the one nobody seems to know about so if you're having a problem with your remote start we'll go back through the list real quick make sure your doors are locked that your hood and your trunk are closed make sure that your security alarm has not been activated right um, make sure that uh, somebody else is not trying to start the car with the, the remote, right? Um, so make sure on that. Make sure the vehicle is in park and parked, right? Make sure that the other smart key is not inside the vehicle, all right? And then also make sure that your fuel level is above a quarter tank. Now, um, that's just for the remote start from the your phone. All right, now I believe if it's below a quarter tank, and I've actually done it, so I know this to be true, you can still start it from your key fob, lock, lock, hold your lock button. You can still start it from your key fob, which you have to be inside of the car for in order to do that. So, um, but the, you still, you have to have it locked. It has to be parked. Um, can't have the other key fob inside of it. Um, all of that stuff's still true. So uh, I believe the vast majority of this works, whether it or, or is accurate, whether or not you're using the key fob or the, um, or if you're using the um, uh, remote connect, but there's a couple in there that uh, are specific to remote connect. But if you are having a problem starting your car with remote connect and you know that it's active, um, definitely try these steps and see if that is the issue because that's probably going to fix your problem. If it doesn't, it's probably a service issue to where you'd actually have to bring it in and get something updated on the car. Uh, possibly your subscription ran out. Uh, free subscription when you first buy the car is good for a year um, so you want to make sure that uh, you get uh, subscribed to that um, by the way if you don't subscribe to that it will work for a while it won't work from your phone unless you subscribe so that part's not really a big deal but the remote start from your key file will work for a while until you get an email that says your remote services have been terminated and nothing because you haven't opted in to your remote service trials so always want to go on the toyota app opt into your connected services remote trials uh, make sure that you guys do that and hopefully uh, this video has helped you out with a couple things but um, if you've done that by the way even if you don't use the remote connect your key fob will still work for either up to three or up to ten years depending on which radio system you have in the car but it's going to be three to ten three or ten years it won't be in between it'll be one of those two but you'll still be able to lock lock and hold your lock button as long as you've done that initial opt-in to allow toyota to talk to the vehicle so 
Um, hopefully it's helped you guys out. Steve Wells beaming Toyota on a beautiful, beautiful rainy day. Um, you know, beautiful Nashville, right? But I got out in the rain just because I like having fun for you guys and uh, why not, right? It's Saturday, we're uh, having some fun out here. It's, it's a beautiful day, but uh, definitely like, subscribe. Appreciate everyone of you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day and I uh, look forward to bringing you the next video. Steve Wells, being Toyota. You guys have a good one.